We're out here with the 2012 Camry LE Hybrid, the seventh generation Camry. If you look at the car, you're gonna notice that this seventh generation is about the same size as its predecessors. And in fact, our customers for years now have been telling us that they love the size and dimensions of the Camry. So we're not gonna change much there. But if you close it on the front, you're gonna notice new angular styling, what we call an under priority, a broad lower grille there. It gives the car a very sporty and aggressive look. And as I move back here, you're going to see we have 16 and 17 and 18 inch wheel and tire packages on the vehicle. These are 16s here that come standard on the Camry Hybrid LE. Moving further along the back, you're going to notice that we have a nice high belt line. There's some sharp character lines on the car now. That rounded look is going away and we're going with a much more angular approach. And tucked inside of the side view mirror and also at the back on the taillight bezel are vortex generators. These are F1 technology pieces that we got from the racing industry. And what these are designed to do is to help pull in the airflow around the sides of the car at highway speeds and tuck them in close to the vehicle. And what that's gonna do for you, the Camry driver, is make your car feel more stable and more comfortable at highway speeds. So the handling story does not end with Vortex generators. In fact, Camry's chassis has 40 additional agility welds on it, which make the chassis more rigid, which helps in handling. We've revised the suspension geometries to also reduce body lift in the corners to help keep Camry nice and flat while you're cornering out there. All Camrys now feature electric power steering, not just the hybrids, but all of them now. So you've got some great handling and performance features there to help keep Camry fun to drive and stable out there on the road. Up under the hood, things are largely unchanged for the Camry gasoline models. We're gonna to continue to offer the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and the 3.5 liter V6 engine. And those are both gonna be backed by six speed automatic transmissions. However, we do have some news for you though on the hybrid Camry. Hybrid Camrys are now going to feature the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, which is an increase over the 2.4 liter four cylinder engine. And what that's gonna get the Camry hybrid driver is 13 more horsepower and also 30% more fuel economy. So that's a double bonus there, both more performance and more fuel economy. The 2012 Camry is going to offer its owners an all-new redesigned interior. It's going to be bristling with luxury features such as the stitched work dash that is very soft to the touch, and also its center console where the HVAC controls and the audio systems live. That center console is designed to resemble a portable music device such as an iPod, and looks very luxurious and very high-tech. In addition to that, there's tons of information for the Camry driver now. You have a three-gauge instrument cluster in front of you, it's going to offer you all the usual pertinent information, but in addition to that, it's going to provide you with your average fuel economy, and on some models, even your instantaneous fuel economy. For 2012, the Camry is going to have some standout safety features, one of which is Toyota's Star Safety System. That includes anti-lock brakes, brake assist, electronic brake force distribution, traction control, vehicle stability control, and smart stop technology. In addition to that, Camry is going to offer 10 airbags, including the driver and front passenger's front airbags in the steering wheel and dashboard, driver and front passenger seat side airbags, driver and front passenger knee airbags, side curtain airbags, and also rear seat outside passenger seat side airbags for a total of 10. Camry has always done a great job of allocating space for utility. And out back for 2012, there's a huge spacious trunk. In addition to that though, the Camry Hybrid has had some packaging changes to its high voltage battery pack. We've moved the cool air intake over to the side of the seat and off the package shelf, which allows us to reshape that battery pack case and give you more space in the trunk.